Hello everyone in this video let us talk about uh, customer notifications and uh, satisfaction settings in Jira service desk. So in the previous video we were talking about uh, customer permissions and uh, uh, we have to now take a look at uh, customer notifications. So in Jira service desk uh, when your customers are uh, are raising tickets on the portal they will receive notifications they can receive notifications uh, from your jira service desk and i think it is a good idea because uh, when i as a customer is requesting for something and after raising a request i receive a notification that uh, thank you very much we have received your request it gives me a sense of uh, uh, not really satisfaction, but uh, I get some comf comfort that uh, uh, my, re my my request was received, and uh, I know that you know there is a confirmation that my request will be now handled. Now, when you look when you're looking at the customer notifications, you have few things that you can configure. No, actually, you have quite a lot of things that you can now configure. So the first option here is uh, the template. So if I click on the template, I have the option to modify. Um, basically the HTML file here if I want uh, and uh, in the subject I have the issue key and the issue summary you can add something else and uh, that something else can be a variable from this particular drop down here so you can also insert your portal name if you want at the same time if you, you can also insert these variables uh, when you are working on uh, your emails the templates of your email so there are already quite a lot of variables like uh, there is a message content, there is a request URL, uh, there is also this option to disable the notifications for the customer and uh, you also have few other links. So basically for the for the customer this is how it will look like the email uh, and you have the option to modify it. So in the beginning I think uh, if you are not really comfortable with HTML uh, just leave it as it is but it is always good to know that you can change similarly you have the option to include more languages if you have more languages uh, so you can uh, configure it from here and the main thing that i wanted to show you is uh, the rules now we have different rules like request created public comment added public comment edited request resolved and so on so these are different rules and basically if you look at the name of these rules these are of course uh, you know different events so when the customer request, when the request is created, uh, we can send an email to customer and you can see here that uh, this is how you can configure. You can actually include more people if you want to send this email to uh, maybe uh, someone else. So you can add uh, you know, a few additional things here. You can modify the content. You can also mention or bring in some uh, variables if you want. And uh, you can... Uh, see here that uh, there is also a preview here immediately and this preview is actually quite uh, interesting because uh, you can uh, figure out you can actually uh, get a sense of how this will look like for the customer and you have the option to disable this rule if you want so right now it is disabled but you can go back and you can uh, enable it again and of course you have different uh, rules uh, like uh, you know when approval is required or when customer visible status changed and so on but you can also add more uh, such rules basically things like um, basically you can use automation to add your own rule um, like a transition on a comment or basically you have uh, the option to use uh, these automation rules uh, and of course when you are adding a automation rule here you have the option to also uh, send an email from this uh, particular uh, rule here so this is something that is in my opinion uh, quite interesting and let us see what we can do here so let us say a trigger here is uh, uh, issue is created so when you add this rule uh, you can uh, add some conditions if you want maybe the condition could be that if the uh, user type uh, matches customer so if it is a if it is a customer raising uh, the um, raising the um, ticket, you can send an email. 
um, and of course you can have more conditions here just to you know pinpoint a specific requirement so you can send an email to your customers and uh, you can uh, uh, write your content and also you can uh, use some variables so this is something that you can always do uh, when you are uh, working on the notifications you can uh, make your own uh, automation rules uh, so I take I, I recommend you to take a look at the uh, notifications and when you're working with the notifications I also recommend you to go to the Jira administration applications so I also recommend you to, to take a look at the uh, application level um, configuration so when you look at the Jira service test configurations uh, there is something called as uh, email uh, request and uh, when you so when you click on the email request here you um, have the option to basically um, configure things like uh, um, you know choose the amount of quoted text that Jira service test copies from an email to a comment so most of these uh, configurations are related to uh, when someone is uh, sending you email to your customer portal and that email will be converted as a ticket and they will of course get an email back from uh, the Jira service desk and of course uh, you have the option to take a look at the content of the email when you're looking at uh, the um, templates in your customer notifications but if you take a look at the configurations and if you go to the uh, notification section here you have an option here that we of course uh, looked at in uh, one of the previous video where should customers receive not Jira notifications so no only send Jira service test notifications to customers recommended yes send customers both Jira service desk and Jira notifications so in Jira we also have notifications uh, that is controlled by notification scheme but uh, if you are using Jira service desk Jira service desk has its own customer notifications so you may want to keep it as no and you want just Jira service desk to uh, manage the uh, notifications for you so this is something that you should be looking at make sure it is no otherwise your customers will complain about uh, multiple emails and uh, when you're working on uh, Jira service desk uh, configurations in the beginning you may also want to take a look at the satisfaction settings so right now the satisfaction settings is enabled so what will happen now when your request is resolved uh, customers will receive an email with that is actually captur captured in uh, a report and that report is something that you can take a look at uh, um, when you go to the reporting section and uh, there is a report called as uh, uh, satisfaction report so this is something that we'll take a look at when we uh, maybe maybe we'll uh, you know spend some time on the Jira service desk we'll probably resolve some tickets and we'll fill up the customer satisfaction survey and uh, when, when you fill up those when, when, when your customers are filling up those uh, surveys you will start re start receiving uh, some well some data in the report so we'll of course take a look at it but uh, just make sure it is enabled if you want to use it so in this video I just uh, wanted to uh, talk about these uh, two things I hope you found this video useful and uh, you learned something new today Thank you very much.